as most of you know, at your son. And I want to start the discussion because today we have students that have, have gone through the mentoring certification training. And they're going to talk a little bit about that. We're going to talk a little bit about how that's evolved into staff becoming certified mentors. We actually have at the center a certified mentoring staff trainer. And then we want to talk a little bit about how that has evolved into what is called industry mentoring. Uh, we want to talk a little bit about what we're doing with the corporations in the local area and how we are taking students to corporations uh, for them to be mentored and tutored. So I'll start with this. About probably two months ago, we initiated a relationship with an organization called the Mentoring Partnership of Southwestern Pennsylvania. And through that mentoring organization, they offer a mentoring certification course, which staff and students can attend. It's usually about a one-day seminar-type setting workshop. And after you go through that, then you can become a certified mentor. So we have had several of our staff at the Pittsburgh Job Corps Center go through the mentoring certification, and they are now certified mentors. Now we have some students that have gone through the certification and have become certified mentors. Andrew. So I want to start uh, start out this discussion with you, Ms. Smith, since you have gone through the certification and what your experience was like. Um, I enjoyed the training um, setting for the mentorship training. Um, I felt like it not only equipped me with the skills to be a peer-to-peer -peer mentor or uh, just mentoring socially, but it, it, it's going to help me in my like professional life and. Um, other endeavors I think I'm going to encounter. But it's just dealing with a lot of decisions because I'm a social work major, and I think in dealing with um, younger kids and dealing with younger women, I think that the mentorship training was a really um, good experience for me. And because of that, you have now taken a position here at the center yes. as a uh, women's coordinator. Yes. Um, so what's that been like? That kind of evolved out of the mentoring and certification. Yeah, it yeah, did. Um, actually, everything that I learned at the training, I've actually had to put into action within the first week of me taking this position. As far as how to listen, I didn't think that there was a technique to listening, and I, I've done that. Um, how to speak, how to make, use your body language to, to also be able to interpret what you're trying to get across to the student. And just, period, how to be um, mannerable and not come off uh, rude, or because it's kind of hard to deal with someone when they're is something personal or maybe some kind of an issue. So I think it was really, it's really good. Okay. And you've also gone through the mentoring certification. So what was the experience like for you, if, if it was any different from what uh, Ms. Smith described? Well, for me, I was very surprised to see that Pittsburgh had a lot of opportunities as far as mentoring and helping young people because I'm not from Philadelphia. But um, we got there through Mr. Mark Ellison, who took us there. And I was a little apprehensive at first because he was only young people there at first. And he had a lot of young people already mentors and already being there. But since I'm going to be a teacher, teaching young students, I feel like, well, okay, I'll, I'll do it. You know, I'll try it. I'll get certified because it can help. And when I was there, I had to say, it was a great experience. I had to do one thing that was great, one activity that was very influential on my behalf because we had to act out being a mentor and mentor someone else. Any situations that are kind of like hard to talk about, like, things like sex, teen pregnancy, abusive parents, and things like that. And it really helped me because it got me to see, like, yo, these people are going to come to me from different areas. They're going to need to speak to me, and I have to have the right persona to answer a question and also make them comfortable to come back to me. Because what we also learned is that many times the students that come in are going to test you and not verbally test you, but sometimes they'll be apprehensive and they make already assumptions of what you're going to be like especially if I'm a young person just in the name. So I think it was very helpful as educating me as a soon to be teacher about how to deal with young people on a different level other than teacher school. Um, so it really helped me to see that um, I can really be influential otherwise. Interesting. Tierra, you also went through the mentoring certification. Yes, what was your experience like? My experience was just uh, discovering that being a mentor 
so it doesn't necessarily mean you're over somebody. It means you're with somebody. It means just to be that person in their life that is a constant. Be that person who they can open up to you, and it's just not you telling them, look, you like me, I'm successful, I can do it. It's more like, I, I know that this is the way I wish you'd go, but if you don't, I can still help and that's what being a mentor is about, and that's just what the training helped me discover, because I thought being a mentor was kind of like being a secondary parent, but it's not. It's more like being a confidant, but at the same time, being able to establish the, the authority of a parent, but it's still a confidant at the same time. So it's kind of like a dual role, in a sense. Okay. So have any of you three, I know that you have, have you had the chance to mentor, start your mentoring? I with any students on center? Well, I know for myself, my, the dormitory that I live in, mm -hmm. I live with a lot of guys, you know, older and younger, and from different backgrounds. And I have to say that I can apply all those things that I learned with the gentleman that I live with. And they kind of come to me as well, strictly because I have some background. And, and since I made myself open with the techniques that they taught me, it's easier for me to help them and mentor them to move them older than So that's the only type of experience I have with my family. Now, of course, our goal at the center is to continue the certification with as many students as we possibly can get to go through the mentoring certification program through this mentoring organization, the Mentoring Partnership of Southwestern Pennsylvania. What it has also evolved into is something that we call industry mentoring. And through industry mentoring, We've invited corporations to get involved with our students, and we are now taking students to different corporations in the local area, and the corporations are allowing their staff for about an hour a week uh, to get involved with our students in whether it's uh, helping them with academics, with tutoring, with mentoring, whatever that may be. So we have some students here today that have actually gone to corporations and have experienced some of the industry mentoring. Uh, so DeAndre, what was it like? Um, I was kind of skeptical walking into this industry. I didn't know what to get out of it. At first, when Mr. Pope asked me to go, I was like, what, is, what are we going for? And then he said mentoring and now tutor. So I said, okay, let's see what it's about. I'll go in, and the, the young lady that spoke with us was actually a job called alumni, and she shared her success story. So then I was like, oh, okay. And then they broke us up in team by the way of, okay, you're having a problem in what area? Somebody said math. Okay, what area in math are you having a problem with? But they applied everyday life and everyday skills to help us. Like me, I love football. So the man was like, you know there's a lot of math in football. I was like, yeah, right. No, it's not. So then he was like, I'm going to help you with your math by showing you a play, and I'm going to break it down. So I was like, oh, it's not been really mad in football. So I was like, okay, I'm liking this idea. Then he was like, so what's going on at Jump Corps? Do you have any problems created in your life? And I was like, I have a little bit. So he's like, well, I'm going to take you in the back room with me, and then we're going to discuss what's going on, and I'm going to see if I can help you. So it really opened my eyes to see that there are people my age, successful, and are, that are willing to share their knowledge with other students. Nice. How about you? What was your experience like? Um, I've got to see like different people coming in, like talking to us. Um, we got to see how other people reacted with other people's problems. Um, it actually kind of helped me just a little bit because I'm not like a talkative person, so I was talking to them and. Um, dealing with other problems, and they helped me out with like communication and listening to other people, and you know, helping other people get their problems too. I mean, it was actually quite fun. Right. Well, as you can see, we are on a mentoring mission, and as January approaches and it's National Mentoring Month, uh, we're going to continue to to celebrate mentoring, and we're going to continue to get as many students and staff as we possibly can uh, through the mentoring certification. It's making a big impact on our center, and I think it's going to make a big impact on our student body. And so we're excited about mentoring at Pittsburgh Job Corps Center. 
And we're going to continue the efforts, and uh, throughout the year of 2010, hopefully we'll have at least 100 mentors that are certified staff and students uh, here at the Pittsburgh Job Corps Center. That's a wrap.